Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I want to talk about a skincare product that I've been using for, it's about to be like two months. And I've kind of, I've talked about it a few times here when I've been doing my makeup application. And today's the day I'm going to just really go in, give you my thoughts. So the product that I'm talking about is, it's called Egyptian Magic. And it's an all-purpose skin cream. I forgot where I originally saw it. I think I saw it somewhere on Instagram. And then back in August, I went to Urban Outfitters and I saw that they had like a trial size or it's 0.25 ounces. That's what I bought. And it's lasted me until now. So I kept seeing like things about it and that, you know, like it's like it's only six ingredients and it's like their selling point was like, this is what the Egyptians used, you know, for their skin and, you know, their skincare routine and everything. And of course, like, you know, when you think of like the Egyptians, you think of, you know, beautiful skin, you think of, you know, like they, they just took care of themselves very well. Uh, they used like, you know, natural things for their makeup. They were kind of like, from my understanding, one of the first uh, cultures that used makeup. So, you know, you hear it and whether it's gimmicky or not, whatever, but it caught my attention. So it obviously worked. So I picked up the little sample. This was like, actually the price is here. This was $6 at Urban Outfitters. This is about the size of like a Blistex lip balm, right? Because it's like this, you know? So I'm going to read to you what it says. It says here, Egyptian magic, all-purpose skin cream. It's for lips, face, body, hydrate, nourish. It's made with honey and olive oil. Oh, that's what it was. The ancient Egyptian secret, all natural cream. That's what got me. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> On the back, it says here, Kamitin. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. I do apologize. The folklore recalls the existence of a mirac miraculous skin cream the secret of great sages mystics magicians and healers used to maintain radiant healthy smooth glowing skin directions rub a moderate amount on your palms until it takes the form of an oil that's very important apply gently to the skin discontinue if irritation occurs obviously i've been using it for about two months there was no irritation and the ingredients so you know, it's like written in a different language. Olea Europea, olive fruit oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, and propolis sera. No synthetic preservatives or fragrances added. So if you have sensitive skin, this is not going to be an issue for you because there's no fragrances or anything like that. Um, however, being that there is royal jelly and propolis which is part of honey and stuff um i did because i wanted to make sure i was able to give you guys some kind of you know good information it's safe to stay away from it if you are allergic to bees just in case you have a reaction so you know if you're not sure but that if you're not i don't know if it, i wasn't sure if i was allergic to bees myself but i tried it and it's fine like i've eaten honey i guess like if you I am not a professional. I'm just, I just want to let you know that if you have a sensitivity to bees or if you've been stung by bees and you've had a bad reaction, just don't use it. That's all I'm going to say. Cause I'm not a professional. I'm not going to tell you, oh yeah, you can use it. If it no, I, I know I didn't have any issues with bees. I eat honey. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I think somebody said, if you're like allergic to honey, you shouldn't try it either, but I didn't have that problem. So there you go. There's my spiel. All right. So the main thing that caught my attention about this obviously was their selling point. We've established that. The second thing was that the ingredients, it was only one, two, three, four, five, it's six ingredients. So I was like, ooh, okay. A lot of times you buy moisturizers and they have a ton of ingredients. So anyways, you guys know I use the ordinary. That's like my, that's what works for me. I started incorporating this into that. So I found two things with this. First of all, I like it. Second of all, like here's like, I hope you guys can see it because I know it's in a white container. Like I have completely used everything up. And side note, I'm just curious because I don't think I'm the only one. My husband thinks I'm crazy. But when I get products like this, I 
I will scoop out. I left it to the point where it was just like one corner. Last night, there was like, it was still like the original top, but I will scoop around it until, you know what I mean? Like I can't just dig my hand in there. I don't know, it's a peppy. I'm just curious if you do the same, let me know, comment down below, put like a cat emoji. Um, and if you just go all, you know, inside, whatever, then let me know that too. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Cause he's like, you're crazy. I can't believe you do it that way. Well, I don't know. Anyways. All right. So two ways I like to use it. This cream is very extremely emollient and how it's set in the directions to kind of warm it up a little bit goes a long way. And that's why this lasted me so long and I would use it at night sometimes. And then I would use it underneath my makeup. So I'm going to show you the consistency and I'm going to demo uh, just a foundation application. So I scoop it out. I'm just using my little RMS spatula and I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to get a little bit close to you guys so you guys can see. So here it is. Hold on. And so it's got like, it almost feels like it's Vaseline like the consistency of Vaseline, but when you start to warm it up, it does melt down into like an oil. So, see how that kind of, it just like melts down and it leaves like this pretty sheen. So, and it'll, I don't wanna say it doesn't dry down cause it kind of doesn't dry down. So that's why when you're applying it, if you're going to put it on during the day before your makeup, start applying like in the small portion because then you'll know how much your skin will kind of like absorb it. If you overdo it, yes, you're going to look like an oil slick. But so I put that and if you kind of just like spread it out it, again, a little bit goes a long way. It will spread out. Like now that I've kind of put it onto the back of my hand completely, it's not as like shiny as it was before when I first started to kind of apply it because I spread it out but you will have like that kind of hydrated sheen to it but that's because of the oils in it like the olive oil um and the honey and everything okay so you can do kind of like a decent amount maybe go a little bit extra at night as like a hydrating mask let's say and you leave it on you go to sleep you wake up your skin feels super soft then I like to put it on underneath my makeup because it's hydrating. And really quick, if you have sensitive skin, I have, I've mentioned this before, but if you're new, I have keratosis pilaris and I have seborrheic dermatitis, which is like, I get scaly here and like here. My scalp, because of the weather changing, it's become a little bit more flaky, but I haven't had any issues with this. It doesn't aggravate it. It doesn't irritate it or anything like that. So, all right, let's. You guys want to see me put it on my face. I'm going to put it on my face. So I'm going to get it. I start off a little bit. Like that's probably too much for my face right now. So I'm going to just leave half of it in here. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. You want to take the product and you really want to warm it up. So I'm going like this. See how I'm warming it up and it's like an oil. And I'm just going to apply it to my face. It feels so good. So again, a little bit goes a long way. I want to stress that I'm putting it on my like cheek and I'm really just kind of like, I'm spreading it out. I haven't had any issues with it irritating my eyes, like my skin under my eyes or anything like that. This also can double up as like a body moisturizer. Like if your skin is dry, I haven't had any issues with that either. I like to use it on my kids sometimes too, because again, the ingredients are, you know, there's no preservatives or anything like that. So personally, I just feel like it's safe for my kids. And I, I know they don't have an allergy to, to bees or anything. I'm gonna add just a little bit. The weather's been a little bit crazy here in Jersey. Um, it's like it's windy so then it gets dry because it's cool but then like it's hot some days all right so i put just a little bit and i like to just blend it I like really press it into the skin it feels really nice and you'll feel like a difference like once you put it on you get like that nice like slip to your to your skin 
So I think it looks nice on its own. We're gonna throw on a little bit of foundation just so you can see like there's like a bit of radiance that does uh, kind of shine through. So really quick, I'm just gonna get in so you guys can see. Okay, so I'm gonna throw some foundation on. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is the dewy one. My shade is in Golden Beige. So I'm gonna fast forward this so it doesn't take forever. You guys have seen me put this on before. I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand. Actually, really quick before I fast forward the entire application, you see how I put it on and you can see the shine through. That's the effect that I like as far as wearing it before my makeup. I get that effect every single time. Even if it's a foundation that's like more on the matte side, like I'll get a glow. I've used this foundation before on its, like not on its own, but like with like other skincare that's not like emollient. And it, this foundation, even though it says it's dewy, ends up being like a satin kind of demi matte on myself. But I noticed that when I use it or I pair it up with this moisturizer, there's like this glow and it's, it lasts all day. So now I'm gonna fast forward it. All right, so this is like, this is the effect that I get, again, underneath my makeup. Without the makeup, as far as the skincare goes, personally, I feel like my skin stays radiant all day. My skin just likes the ingredients that's in it. I'll, you know. Um, so I like the way my skin feels. Like at nighttime, I joke with my husband because I'll do like my, my serums and everything from the ordinary. And then like, I'll top it off with that. And I'll just come in and be like, look, honey, I look like a glazed donut. And he just cracks up because he's like, you're so shiny, it's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm gonna wake up with good skin tomorrow. <laughs> so I really like this product. Um, I I was so happy when I found it in the store because I was like, oh, I can finally try. Because like, it's like, oh, you know, go online and, and search here and this and that. And I think it's starting to be a little bit more mainstream where you could find it in stores. So definitely check it out. However, I do, I do wanna say something. If you've made it to the end of this video, then you're in luck. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway soon with some of my favorite products for achieving like a glowing skin. And I'm thinking about skincare and maybe a highlighter. So keep on watching because that video is coming up soon. And definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Have you tried it? Were you interested in this too? That this kind of like before this video, did you see it somewhere when you were like, hmm, I'm curious about that? Because I was. So let me know. Comment down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. That definitely helps out. Join me in my little journey of trying makeup and skincare. So yeah. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.